Hi everyone, this will be a relatively short video where I discuss the scapula. This is what we often call the shoulder blade. We have to be more specific and use the actual scientific name for these bones. So this is the scapula. And there are a few features on the scapula that you need to know as well as whether it is a right or left scapula. So let's look at the features that we need to know here. First, when we look at the scapula, one side of it is relatively straight, and then this view is kind of straight up and down, whereas the other side is more slanted, it's more at an angle. Well, the one over here that's straight up and down, this is called the medial border, the medial border. That's the side that is closest to your vertebral column. This side over here that's more slanted, this is called the lateral border. This is off to the side of your body. It faces the side of your body. Next, there's this kind of large protruding structure right here. This ridge is called the spine. And at the end of the spine is this projection right here called either the acromion or the acromial process. The acromion or the acromial process. Now there's a couple of features over here that you need to know, but we can't see it very well in this view. So here I've rotated it a little bit. I'm holding the medial border. This running down part right here is the lateral border. We can see the spine sticking up a little bit better in this view. Right at the end, here is that acromion or acromial process. But now we can see the other two features that you need to know. This very smooth indentation right here is called the glenoid fossa or the glenoid cavity. Well, the glenoid fossa is what your upper arm attaches to. The bone in your upper arm is called the humerus and the head of the humerus fits in to the glenoid fossa. Now sticking forward here, this is called the coracoid process. Now by this point, we've noticed on the skull there was something called the coronoid process. And if you've already studied any of the bones of the arm, there's something there also called the coronoid process. And now here we have a coracoid process. So there are some terms that either are identical or in this case that sound very similar. So make sure to keep those straight. Well, the coracoid process, uh, I'll tell you how it got its name. This may make it a little bit easier. It may not. So just think if this helps, keep it in your head. Corica means crow, like the bird. And the shape of the coracoid process resembles the beak of a crow. So that's how it got its name. So now we've learned the parts of the scapula that you need to know, but we also have to know if it is a left or a right. Now on several of the bones, that is something that you need to know. And the key to knowing if a bone is a left or a right is pick three different features and know when the body is in an anatomical position, which direction do each of those features point? If you can do that for three separate structures, there is no way to have all three of them point the right way if you put it on the wrong side of the body. So here, let's use the scapula and pick three points. In anatomical position, you see how this kind of forms an arrowhead? Well, that arrowhead should point downward the way that we see it here. So this arrowhead should point towards the ground in anatomical position. Now here, remember this is that glenoid fossa, and the glenoid fossa is what the arm attaches to. So it has to face outward towards the side of the body so that the arm can attach to it. And lastly, the spine faces back 
towards the back of the body. So for all of those things to be true, let's look at this one over here, okay? For this to point downward at the ground, for this glenoid fossa to face the side of the body, and for the spine to face back, this one here must be a right, and it is. This is a right, and this one is a left, and the spinal cord and the vertebrae would pass through here between them. So if you can keep those things in order in your head, you should be able to tell me all of the parts of the scapula that we have to learn and whether it is a left scapula or a right scapula if you see it laying out on the exam.